Hello and welcome back to our Shattered Balance series with the HIP mod for Crusader Kings 2. In the last episode we conquered the county to our north, instantly doubling the size of our holdings, which is very nice. And we are looking for another conquest, uh, probably somebody who is relatively weak. Of course the Shattered Balance scenario means we have CVs on any neighboring county, so our targets are Pretty much anybody around us. They all have pretty comparable levies to what we have at the moment though. Ours should increase beyond theirs I think though since we have two counties if we just wait a little while so let's do that. In fact I think I should move my marshal to train troops in our newly acquired county since we'd rather have the levy reinforcement rate event happen there instead of in our capital, which in fact already has the increased levy reinforcements, since we'd like this to increase as quickly as possible. And another thing we would probably like to do is... Uh, we had a daughter, okay. Uh, this is what I was just going to say, is to form a duchy title as soon as possible to avoid losing lands on succession due to gavel kind. So that means taking either probably this county or this county. This guy I think is a bit stronger since he has a better county. He has almost a thousand troops compared to his 665. Although, do we technically border this one? I think we have to go in through here, so we might not have an actual CB on them. And indeed we don't, okay. So I guess that uh, narrows down our choices, and we should probably pick this guy as our next target. He's got about 900 troops, so we'll have to wait until we outmatch him a little bit there. We're in a gaining levy in our second county, so that's good. Hey, free technology. Oh, also in the last episode, the event that we got from our hunting focus that I thought was giving us the strong trait, I looked back on the video and it was actually only a 20% chance to gain strong, which is why we didn't get it. I was just uh, so excited, I guess, at the prospect of gaining strong that I overlooked the fact that it was only a 20%. I apparently fell asleep while working hard last night. Perhaps I am overworking myself too hard. So we have a chance of losing diligent, or a chance of becoming ill or stressed. Well, I'm not too worried about becoming ill. We have a health bonus currently from our hunting focus. Stressed is more difficult to get rid of though. Also a lower health penalty. This also gives us a temporary penalty to intrigue and stewardship. I, I think I'll take this event, we'll, t we'll risk the 20% chance of losing diligence. Hope it doesn't happen. It didn't, okay. That's fine. Okay, my great feast is happening. Let the preparations begin. And we also received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag in the province of Thessalia. Saddle my horse, of course. Oh, and we're also simultaneously going hunting for boar meat for our feast. We can send out the marshal, we can hunt them ourselves. Force the peasants to hunt. I guess for, for roleplay purposes we should really go hunt them ourselves since we have the hunting focus. We have a 1% chance of death though. So I think I'll take the cowardly option and send out my marshal. If it wasn't for the fact that we would actually lose a whole county if we died, I would probably just risk this, but no, we'll send out our marshal. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what foodstuff to serve. I must purchase venison, boar, duck, spices, wine and ale, honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or a peacock. I guess we'll just spend enough on food to satisfy everyone's hunger. That's fine. 
We do need to save money for eventually creating a duchy title. Most of the preparations for the feast have been made, and now I only have to send out the invitations. And this vassal has refused to come. Okay. The guests have finally arrived, all is ready, the cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Welcome to my feast. My ecclesiarch cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine over his garb. Alright. We can imprison the Metropolitan. Slash ecclesiarch. Or bribe the servants to shut up, or say he did the right thing. Gaining arbitrary. Well, I think we'll imprison him and gain just. Which means we have to appoint a new ecclesiarch. Which will have to be this guy. I suppose we'll have him improve religious relations with the ecumenical patriarch. I'm not sure if I've actually ever played as an orthodox character before, so I don't know what benefit there is from improving relations with him. I don't think he has similar um, powers as the Pope. Oh, this is another feature of HIP when you're playing with this option on. We can create new lucky rulers via diplomacy here if we want to. Though I don't think we really want to do that to anyone. At least yet. Of course, I don't know who the current lucky rulers are. I assume it'll become obvious in time as some people expand quicker than others. We've gathered our followers and are hunting dogs. We've saddled your horse and prepared your weapons. You are ready to set out to hunt the Great White Stag. This time it will not escape me. The last of the guests has returned home, and everyone agreed it was the year's greatest feast. I had a lot of fun, and so did everyone else. Okay. I guess everyone's leaving because we just went out on a hunt immediately. Fruitlessly scouring the countryside, you come upon a small cottage in the wilds. As you knock, a beautiful young woman opens. She pauses, then gives you a warm, inviting look and says, It's very lonely out here. I wonder if you will stay the night. So we can get... This character had a great time for two years, giving us plus one diplomacy in general opinion and gain lustful. We can say I really shouldn't and we can gain chaste. Eh, uh, sure. Let's become lustful. Gain extra diplomacy. The next morning, you awake with a warm body next to you. You spent a long, pleasant night in the cabin, but it's time to get back to the world outside. Your companion looks you in the eyes, caresses you, and asks you to stay a little longer. This was nice, but I have to go, or come back to court with me. Yeah, let's bring her back to court. Alexia of the Wilds. Attractive, quick, and lustful. Wow, okay. She would make a really good spymaster, actually. Let's appoint her. Maybe she doesn't show up here yet. Okay, we'll unpause for a second and try again. You've returned to your court. The hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wilds. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. I won't give up. I still can't appoint her. Okay, that's strange. I wonder why. Okay, so our levy at present is 976. Do outnumber him slightly, but I'd prefer a larger advantage before we actually declare war. His county is Plains. There are river crossings everywhere? No, no river crossing from here. So we could circle all the way around and go in through there, which would probably be the correct course of action. I'm observing some of the local priests at work studying dense and arcane ancient texts. Suddenly one of the priests says, oh dear, this manuscript won't do it all. The colors of the illustrations aren't good. Perhaps I should suggest a better source of pigment to illustrate the manuscript. So we can suggest earwax, urine, or colorful stones. 
Let's say colorful stones. We gained one prestige, okay. Okay, we're up over a thousand. Ooh, it looks like our neighbor to the south here has expanded, taken another county. So I'll have to watch out for him. It is quite a dangerous time here, because since we have this CB on all our neighbors, they have the same CB on us. So if we were to lose our levy in a bad battle, we could find ourselves being attacked from all sides. Not sure why we have CBs up here. Oh, I guess they're Tengri, okay. So that's just why I'm being perhaps overly cautious with uh, waiting for my levy to increase to the point where I outnumber him comfortably. Okay, my wife is pregnant. A young artist is working on what is clearly a divinely, divinely inspired icon depicting Saint Peter. He needs sponsorship to finish it, so we can place it in our own chapel. He is one apostle to admire, so we can pay nine gold-ish for one stewardship. Yeah, I think one stewardship is worth that. Even though we are trying to save money for our uh, duchy. Probably will pay for itself in income. Where does it say how this is increased by stewardship? I'm not sure exactly how this is calculated. 43% from stewardship. I imagine it's related to our state stewardship rather than our personal stewardship. So who knows exactly how much income we gain from one stewardship ourselves, but I assume it's some and we'll be getting more money now because of that. So we lost our Chancellor, Lago Thiet, I guess. Let's appoint our wife. Have her improve diplomatic relations here, I guess. Okay, Levy's at almost 1300. I guess we'll wait probably one more month. He's still at 800. Okay. So let's do it. Conquer ruler. His levy will, of course, go up a little bit from what's shown here, since he'll get the uh, defending against infidels bonus with his vassals, so it's 868 instead of 818. Not a big deal, though. We have him still outnumbered pretty comfortably. We can't appoint anybody here. I guess we already have the best person appointed there. So we'll go around the circuitous route, as mentioned. And we had another son. Weak and ill. I don't like his chances of surviving, but let's hope he does, I suppose. I've heard that many of the peasants under my rule are not eager to partake in this war. They claim that they suffer a lot for what seems to be pointless fighting. <laughs> you can say they should be happy, those useless pieces of filth, gaining two prestige. Or say, though we must fight, I do feel bad for what the peasants have to go through and gain two piety. I think I'll gain the piety. Seems overly harsh. Okay, so... No terrain or crossing penalties, and greater numbers means we should have pretty easy time in this battle. I've learned many lessons from this battle, aside from application of the theoretical tactics my mentors taught me as a boy. I've learned to deftly isolate an opponent in the thick of the front, bring all my focus and concentration to bear upon him, and then, within but a few rounds of melee, swiftly execute him. I'm proud of my clear progression into a greater warrior. Okay. I continue advancement of my personal combat skills. So we're up to 71% from that battle. 
I guess we'll follow and fight his army. I don't think it'll get us to 100, but we may as well. 89. Fighting across the field, you see an enemy soldier cut off from the, the others. Well, you can't tell who. It's clear they must be a highborn noble. Well, the battle's already over, so we're probably not going to get a follow-up to that. That's fine. And you improved the relations with our imprisoned vassal. Okay. Are we able to revoke his title freely? No. Oh well. So while we're waiting for the siege, let's see if we can see who else has expanded. Nothing too obvious. Anju up here seems to have expanded to three counties. Is he a lucky ruler? Nope. Still looking pretty powerful. He's probably going to continue to do that. Uh, we have some expansion here. Again, not a lucky ruler. Uh, some very large... Well, some of these aren't quite as large as they look. Oh, he has actually four counties. And these are tribal, which I still don't quite understand, since I thought I checked the... Uh, convert tribal holdings to feudal button at the start of the game, but I guess it didn't work. We have a pretty powerful guy over here. Not a lucky ruler, but he is an impaler. Alright. Ooh, and we had some more expansion down here, too. Hopefully we can stay ahead of the game a little bit. We finished our siege. Enforce demands. And we've gained our third county and we can create a duchy title as soon as we save up just a little bit more gold. Let's disband our levies so that we can Hopefully let that happen. We should make a bit more gold when the month ticks over, or whenever the thing refreshes. Okay, we received credible reports of a recent sighting of the Great White Stag again. Saddle my horse. Lately in the morning, you've snuck out of your residence with a few trusted bodyguards to walk the beaches and smell the fresh ocean breeze at dawn. There was something amazing when you heard the waves crashing on the sand. A sound of pure, raw, natural energy. You gained two piety. Gathered my followers and hunting dogs. This time it will not escape me. We hope. Peasants told the whole castle about a dragon they saw in the forest, and now the eager young men keep nagging me about a true dragon hunt. So let's gain a free marshal from this one, I think. We spend weeks in the wilderness searching for any trace of your prey, but to no avail. You find plenty of bugs, snakes, and riding sores, however. Oh dear, so we can maybe gain the trait stressed. Though we didn't, that's good. You've returned to your court. The hunt for this elusive white beast seems fruitless, but there are many more things out there in the wild. Maybe next time you'll catch your prey. <laughs> Already we have credible reports of the sighting of the Great White Stag again. Let's saddle our horse. Though, I think before we go hunting for that, we should probably be able to create this duchy. It was 200 prestige and cost us almost all our gold. That's okay, we're no longer going to lose any land on succession, though we still will be distributing our lower titles among our children, which is not great. We'd rather keep everything on one character, but we can probably do some murdering or something to get it back once that happens. And we do have a ducal claim on this guy now. In fact, he'd probably accept vassalization if we offered him. Oh, no he wouldn't, okay. Well, never mind. But the de jure claim isn't that useful since the Conquer Ruler CB is better, since it gives us the land directly instead of vassalizing him. 
And I did want to see what was going on with this war here. Oh, he's attacking... Uh, this guy. I guess. But he's lost. Okay. Alright. Fair enough. Alright, well... Uh, that'll do it for this episode, so we're just about out of time. So thanks for watching. Join me again next time when we'll probably see if we will catch the White Stag this time. <laughs>